A friend of mine in Michigan saw my video about making my car go faster by changing the air filter and suggested a product that his auto shop sells. Now, I'm usually a supporter of my friends, but this one's going to remain nameless because what he sent me isn't something I necessarily think I'm going to install, but I'll let you vote to decide whether I should even try it on my car. So he sent me what's called an electric turbo or an electric supercharger. After Googling around, I found a couple of kits that I thought might actually work. Uh, the one that's pictured here from yourhotcar.com uses metal fan blades, an electric motor, and supposedly delivers 600 cubic feet a minute of air. That's a lot of air. Um, just as a reference, a, a good carb should be like 350 cubic feet a minute. Um, and then they go up from, from there. But on street legal cars, 350 is considered pretty good. So 600 is amazing. So I get this package in the mail today. And it's my electric supercharger. A 300 cubic feet a minute electric add-on. Now, 300's not that large, but the size of this thing, now I included all of the adapters that it came with, is something to behold. It looks like it should be a ray gun or, or something. But what it really comes down to is this four inch inline blower. And doing some searching around based on the patent numbers on it, this is a bilge blower like you could pick up at Walmart for about $30. So I'm a little hesitant to mount it in my car, especially since being plastic, I can't imagine that it's the continuous duty cycle that you'd want for a, for a car. Um, and then it has size down adapters. And like I said, I just put them all on for the fun of having this huge thing that you could definitely never mount in your car. But essentially, your air filter bolts on here and your existing air system bolts on here or at whatever stage size you need in order to get to where you need to be. And this supposedly delivers 300 to 500 cubic feet a minute of air. And the 300 rating is at less than 100% duty are you're supposed to be able to run it all of the time and burst to five five hundred and it doesn't include any electronics it includes a wiring diagram to tell you how to hook it up but essentially this takes four four amps at 12 volts and at the full four amps you get the 500 and at like nine volts you get 300 and I'm not sure whether I'm willing to bolt this on my car. Um, the, the theory is reasonably sound. More air means more power. Um, but it's a plastic boat bilge motor. I just, it can't, it can't be good for my car. I, I, I just don't see it. But uh, I'll leave it to you guys. Vote if I get enough thumbs up and it's got to be better than 50-50. Um, if I get better than, we'll say, 70%, um, thumbs up for the idea of installing this, I will install this um, sometime maybe next week. And if you all think it's a dumb idea, I won't install it. So don't let me sway you when I say, please vote not to do it. I love my mini. But I'll let you decide. Um, yeah.